Hi, and welcome to Cartridge Blow. Colossus. Enormous. Monstrous. Either I'm setting you up for the best that's what she said joke, or we're talking about Godzilla today. Released in 2004, Godzilla Saves the Earth allows you to play as one of several monsters from the various Godzilla movies, which includes this chrysalis. And this, whatever the hell this is. There is some sort of plot to this game, involving Godzilla's DNA, G-cells, this crazy space lady, but honestly, I don't care. I'm here to kick some butt of enormous space monsters and smash cities to the ground. The game itself is quite sluggish, there's not many special moves, the graphics haven't aged well thanks to the PlayStation, so you probably think this is a terrible game. But you're wrong. Really wrong. So wrong. Just look at all the monsters and cities to destroy. This game is good in one player mode, but when it's played in multiplayer, it's like waking up and realising it's a beautiful sunny day, and then smashing that beautiful sunny day to pieces with your huge lizard hands. It's fantastic. It allows for four players to duke it out at the same time. What more could you ask for? I do have some criticisms though. The mini games it throws at you in solo mode are just the most infuriating and annoying levels ever. And why? Why are we protecting a building from flying saucers? And then next we're playing a game of basketball. I mean, why? But we do like the one where you smash the city to the ground. You can definitely keep that one. That's a winner. Which brings us to the end. And uh, I've got to say, if you haven't played this game, definitely play it. It's one of my favorites. It's just absolutely fantastic. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. And don't forget to like and share. Oh, and just uh, one more thing. What's Godzilla's favorite cheese? That'd be Gorgonzilla. Yeah.